Hey guys, what's happening? So with iOS 16 came new wallpapers, came an entirely new lock screen, came widgets, came new fonts for clocks. But one of the most subtle additions to this entire thing is where you get a depth effect with your wallpaper. If there is a clear subject and a clear background in the wallpaper, then the subject can overlap with a small part of the clock. And it looks great. But the fact is that a lot of times this depth effect does not work. And that's what this video is all about. Today, we're gonna find out the different ways you can fix the depth effect not working on your iPhone. This is Gorang, you're watching Kairing Tech. Let's get started. All right, first up, if you have widgets on your lock screen, then the depth effect will not work because these two things do not work together. So in order to make the depth effect work with your wallpaper on your lock screen, the first thing you need to do is remove all of the widgets. To do that, tap and hold on the lock screen. You will zoom out of the lock screen and you'll see a customized button at the bottom. Tap on it and then tap on the widget panel and then use the minus signs to basically remove all of the widgets. Once all of the lock screen widgets are removed, see if the depth effect works. Well, if the depth effect does not seem to be working, then it might be that the depth effect is just disabled. To enable the depth effect, tap and hold on your lock screen and then unlock your phone. You'll see a customized button at the bottom, tap on it. Then you'll see a three dot menu icon on the bottom right corner, tap on it. And then from the pop-up, enable the depth effect option. If the wallpaper supports the depth effect, you will see some part of the subject overlapping with the clock. But in case you're using an unsupported wallpaper or an image, the depth effect option will be grayed out. Next up, if that didn't work, well, it's time to check the format of a wallpaper. With iOS 16, only JPEG format of images can be used as wallpapers on your iOS lock screen. So to check the potential wallpaper's image format, go to the Photos app and then open the wallpaper in the Photos app. Once you open the wallpaper, you'll see an eye icon at the bottom bar. When you tap on it, an overlay pane will open and you'll see the image file format. Now, if the image is anything other than JPEG, well, it's time to just convert the image and then use it as your wallpaper. Next up, if that trick did not work, well, another reason that your wallpaper is not working with the depth effect is just that the iPhone is not able to recognize a clear subject in the image. Ideally, you should be using an image in which the subject is clearly distinguishable from the background. Once you find an image which has a clearly distinguishable subject, it should definitely end up working. And in case you want all of the wallpapers that you're seeing right now in the video, I'll add a link in the description and you can go ahead and check them out and just download them to your iPhone. Now, even after all this, if you found an image, but it still does not work, it might be the case that you're not cropping it or placing the wallpaper right because the subject can't cover the majority of the clock itself. So to reposition the wallpaper on your lock screen, tap and hold on the lock screen itself, then tap the customize button at the bottom. After that, use the pin gesture to zoom in and out and adjust the wallpaper in the way the depth effect works. You can preview the depth effect as you reposition the image. Once you're done with all of this, you'll see a done button at the top right corner. Just tap on it and you'll save the changes. Well, if all of this did not work still, it might be the case that your iPhone is having a temporary glitch, which is making the lock screen not work according to how you want it. And the best thing to do in that case is to just force reboot the phone. To do that, press and release the volume up button followed by the volume down button. Then press and hold the power button until the Apple logo appears. After the reboot, the depth effect should be working. And well, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the subscribe button and followed by that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gorang, and I'll see you in the next one.